Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Everyday Caddy for the Everyday Guys. So as you can see, the surroundings look a bit different. I've just moved into a new place and I had a whole studio room set up with lights and backgrounds and all those really cool things. And then ESCOM decided, let's shut off the electricity and load it for the next two hours, which is the only two hours I have to film this because like I said, I am moving. So I'm now filming in our extremely empty lounge. We've got like a TV and some books and that sort of thing in our lounge our furniture hasn't arrived yet so i do apologize for the setting so please bear with me but i'm sure we will make do today we are going to be having a look at shinobi kydex new wakazashi holster there are some very interesting features about this holster as always i'm going to review it in my usual concealment comfortability and retention on the admin side of things this firearm is empty and safe and will remain so if I do use any mags, they are empty as well and will remain so throughout the video. Just as a reminder, stay tuned to the end of the video. We're going to be talking about discount codes, giveaways on Kernel Blade, as well as the long-awaited giveaway of the Leatherman Skeletal that's coming towards the end. So stay tuned for that. So guys, I do pretty much feel like a bit of a cheat when it comes to concealment because I seem to be able to conceal everything pretty well. As you can see, I've got a white t-shirt and I've got extreme light coming into the year. And this is the area where it would print and there's absolutely no printing at all. What's also interesting is that I'm carrying the firearm with an extended base plate on it. So you get a really high level of concealment with this holster. But what's also cool is that the firearm sits fairly high up on your body. For all you speed demons, you will know a firearm that sits higher up is going to give you a much quicker draw. Well, I wouldn't say much quicker though, it's going to be much easier to get that three finger grip on your firearm to draw and present than a firearm that sits super low or almost on your belt. Also, this guy has no cant to it. This is a flat setup, which means, which means your grip on the firearm is going to be very easy, very natural. So I'm going to talk about how it achieves this concealment. It's got to do with that massive aluminium claw. We're going to get to that at the end of this segment and I'll explain all those things. So that's concealment. For me, concealment is as simple as that is top notch. And I remember guys, you got to have the right pants, the right belt, the right cover garment and good posture. That's one of the most vital things. Good posture is a massive contributor to good concealment. Now on the comfortability aspect of it, as I said, the holster sits really high up. So there's not a lot below sort of this point of your body. So you get really good comfortability. You can actually bend down quite easily. I'll just drop down without any issues with this particular holster. Usually if you're wearing an appendix rig, it sits a bit low. And if you bend down, it sort of digs into your thighs or, or into your inner thighs. This doesn't do that because the holster sits so high up on your body. You are able to get really, really good comfort when wearing it. So I'm super impressed with those first two things. And then retention, being that this is a sort of two pieces of kydex bound together, you can adjust the retention by putting spaces in between the kydex. I'll see if I'll chuck in close-ups for you. But you really don't have to. The retention is exactly where you want to be. It's solid, it's tactile, but it's also light. And Shinobi Kydex holsters tend to be like that. Uh, Eric Ace builds his holsters for speed and reliability. So you're going to get a good click, a good tactile retention. There you go. But also removing it from the holster is very easy. It's not jerky at all. And so that gives you really quick draws. As opposed to holsters that are super tight. That you'll often have to sort of pull the holster up with your pants a bit before it jerks loose. And I'm not a big fan of that way of doing things. So concealment, comfortability and retention, as with pretty much all the holsters I've reviewed so far, things are just getting better for the guys here in South Africa. They are making better and better holsters. And if you are looking for a holster for this setup, remember this case for the OLED PL Mini as well. I mean, you've got so much options, but this should definitely be on your list. Let's bring it in close and we'll talk about some special features. Okay, so guys, for personal adjustments, as you can see, I've changed my t-shirt just to provide a bit of color contrast between what I was wearing and this holster, because a lot of things on this holster are a similar color to the white t-shirt. So the first thing, let me get rid of the firearm. The first thing I want to talk about is this claw. So you've got an aluminum claw on this holster. Now, what that means in the first instance is there's no flex in the claw. So you're going to get 100% concealment application from this claw is going to do its job to its 100% ability. 
and that's why you can get that concealment with a firearm sitting so high. Those of you who try to conceal or are struggling to conceal will know the higher the firearm sits in your waistband, the less concealable it becomes, the more that sort of um, base of the grip prints. So because you've got this claw here and it's made out of aluminium and it is quite large, it covers the, nearly the whole length of the opening of the clip. Now on the clip side, I did replace the standard clips with 1.5 inch clips. Shinobi card excels with 1.75 inch clips. I've got a 1.5 inch belt, so I switched them out for 1.5 inch clips. But not only does it cover effectively the whole opening of the clip, so you're getting maximum concealment from it, you can move this claw to the front or the back of the holster, and you can also move it up and down. So if you raise or lower your, your, your gun's ride height or your holster's ride height, you can raise and lower the clip as well. This is the first holster I've got where you can do that. Most clips are non-adjustable in terms of ride height. With this one, if you want to chuck on soft loops or you want to drop it or lower it, you can lower or raise the clip as well, so you can get a maximum concealment. Most of your issues around holsters are going to be comfortability or comfort and concealment. Now, on the comfort side of things, with this being such a short setup, okay, this holster is really small height-wise. Let's see if I can get a better contrast there. It's not a holster that is long, so it sits very high inside your pants. This area over here sort of doesn't come anywhere near the crotch area, so it is extremely comfortable, especially when sitting down, bending over. It's one of the few holsters you can bend at the knees, you can drop down all the way sort of to the ground, bend your knees, even bend forward, and you don't experience a massive level of discomfort. And then that retention, it's just exactly as you want it. As I said earlier on, it's got a very nice tactile click, but removing the firearm from the holster is also super simple. And that's what you want. That's the kind of retention you want. You want to feel your firearm click into place, but you don't want to have to uh, yank to get it out again. So I'm actually really, really impressed. I've had this holster for about two months, worn it as often as I could wear holster. And I'm very impressed with Eric Asa Chinobi Cardix has been able to pull off this aluminium claw. I think he's going to catch on or similar things like it. The adjustable claw, it's the first one, first holster I have where you've got an adjustable claw in terms of where you can adjust not only front to back, but also ride height. So you can get even more out of this claw than you currently are getting. So for example, if you're running something like a Glock 17 with a, you know, or 19X for example, you can bring this claw to the front and put two spaces in between it so it sits even more forward, so it tucks in even more aggressively. So in that way you can sort of conceal your full size firearms, which I know a lot of people struggle with. As I said, the part of your firearm that's going to print the most is the grip. Guys, another thing I want to talk about, this is something that's become quite the talking point lately, is turnaround time. I've spoken to Eric AC looking at about five to seven working days, depending on orders, but I think 10 working days maximum. And this guy goes for a little over a thousand bucks. I think he's going to do a special on the Glock 19 with PL Mini. Um, where I think it's going to be 1100 bucks. I think the normal price is close to 1500 Don't quote me on that. I don't like talking pricing because these things are subject to change. That's just what my memory sort of serves me as, but I'm not 100% sure. So, Shinobi Kydex, new Wackers actually also very, very impressed. If you are looking for an appendix rig for your Glock with a PL Mini, similar setup that you've got right here, this is definitely a viable, worthwhile option. And then guys, just to end off, remember, you do still get 5% off all kernel blade gear from the Knife Guy for the remainder of March. Just go onto the online store and use the code EDC for the EDG as you see it at the bottom here, and you get 5% off. Also, the competition that I'm doing where you win a 500 grand online voucher from the Knife Guy, that video's popping up in your screen right now. That is still running. I'm closing out on the last day of March, so you are still welcome to enter. And then also, guys, as promised, the Leatherman Skeletal giveaway is happening soon. I'm going to do the video probably just after this one, so it will be out soon as well. I'm just going to work out around the timing and exactly what the criteria is, but some lucky viewer or some lucky subscriber is going to be winning a Leatherman Skeletal within the next month or so. I'm going to give everybody equal chance to enter this. That's it guys, thank you so much for watching the Shinobi Kydex new Wakazashi Ulster. Really cool, very, very viable option if you are looking to get yourself a new appendix Ulster. Just on a personal note, I want to offer my heartfelt condolences to the people of New Zealand and those who have lost loved ones. I have family in New Zealand, so it was kind of a personal thing for me. It kind of drives home just how dangerous civilian life has, be has become. 
Um, and I do offer my, like I say, my condolences and all the strength to those who have lost loved ones and who are suffering in New Zealand. That's it, guys. Have a good week. I'll see you guys soon. Cheers. God bless.